Roma ISD's commitment to academic excellence can be attributed to the contributions of countless of educators and community members who have dedicated their lives to cultivating and inspiring the hearts and minds of our local youth. As we celebrate the opening of Veterans Memorial Elementary, we honor our veterans for their selfless service and we pay tribute to a special group of educators who help lay the foundation for public education in rural Star County. During the early 1900s, pioneers in education such as Don Simon Muñiz and Ramona Guerra de Perez were instrumental in educating school-aged children in rural communities. Don Simon, as he was affectionately referred to, received his teaching certificate in the year 1900. He traveled on horseback nearly 20 miles in order to teach the children of Los Sainz, La Grulla, and Salineño. After years of working as a school teacher, he continued to shape the public education system in Roma and its surrounding communities by serving on the Roma ISD School Board for 23 years. Like Don Simon Muñiz, Ramona Guerra de Perez is considered an important historical figure who helped establish and promote local public education at the turn of the 20th century and who inspired a new generation of women educators. It was very challenging for her as well, very, very challenging. Rain or shine, they would go uh, to teach uh, in the rural schools. Oh, he, she would come all the way to Fronton, I understand. Esau, Escobares, Las Víboras Ranch, the little ranches around the, the area. She was one of the first. There were others. There, I believe there's a book here. It's called uh, Women uh, Trendsetters Settlers of Stark County. And there was another lady by Lima Fulogia Cruz that was also a... Uh, an educator around the same time. During the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, Roma ISD continued its mission on educating students in rural communities. Despite having limited resources, some of the district's top teachers accepted the task of traveling to El Saos, Salineño, Fronton, Los Sainz, and Escobares in order to make sure that all children were given the opportunity to receive a quality education. I started teaching in 1961 and there was only one teacher. I was the only teacher there for a while. I was sent there on a trial basis because since there were so many inconveniences, everyone wanted to come to Roma. But I liked it and I stayed there for 29 years. I had, a lot, I had fun there in Escobares with the kids too but I really loved them all. And I wouldn't, I don't think I would trade it, you know, for anything else. I started teaching in 1952 in Los Angeles. And I was there for a year and a half. And then they closed the school in Escobares and they brought fourth graders over here. So they moved me to Roma to take that group. And then I had to go to Salineño. And then from Salineño, I came back. I had 45 students there. And I had a, a group that had never been to school. And then I had first graders and second graders. We had to make everything. Not like nowadays you go to the store and buy pictures or whatever. At that time, we didn't have any of that. But we could work and they could learn. These early educators laid the foundation to public education in our region. The sacrifices made by these and many other individuals have helped Roma ISD become the prosperous institution it is today. As we explore our past, we look with marvel at the evolution of a district committed to providing students with every opportunity to learn at the highest level. The opening of Veterans Memorial Elementary reaffirms Roma ISD's commitment to academic excellence.